there are obviously mostly women that I meet during my practice and a lot of the women will sometimes come to you and say that uh, doctor uh, there are days when my skin is you know looking nice and I get up in the morning looking fresh and glowy and there are days when I just get up in the morning when my skin is looking very dull and dehydrated I look pigmented and uh, it just doesn't and I've not changed anything but this just happens and obviously a lot of people dealing with acne will come and relate it that you know they're getting acne because they are due for their menstrual cycle they're due for their periods so is this related yes it's definitely related and today i just want to uh, shed light on this phenomena that women go through during the different phases of their menstrual cycle and how it really affects the skin. The acne issue we are all familiar with by now that people who are prone to acne will always uh, you know tell you about a flare up of acne during their when they are about to have their periods or during their periods which is mainly around the jawline so we know that this has to do with the higher progesterones than them which have an androgen activity that is they work like testosterone they will uh, increase the oil production the pores will get clogged and they will break out so this is a very direct relation to the uh, before the periods when the hormone changes but we also realize that there are these four, you know, three or four distinct phases of the menstrual cycle. There is the ovulatory phase, there is the luteal phase, and there is the post-menstrual phase. And when once the menstruation starts, the hormones which were gearing up for fertilization suddenly withdraw. There is a sudden withdrawal of the estrogen and progesterone, leading to a dryness or a dullness or even a a thinning of the skin leading to more visual capillaries and this gives to a very tired dehydrated look similarly just before the, in the ovulatory phase there is a lot of progesterone there's a lot of prostaglandins making the skin very sensitive and a little tender a lot of the times we feel that when we are doing in clinic treatments the skin is way more tender when one is about to get down or have their periods and uh, treatments become more painful or uncomfortable. So how do we manage this? How do we take care of the skin care during the different phases? So going phase wise in this period, we start with the ovulation phase, which is gearing up towards the periods. At this time, the body is secreting a lot of estrogen, a lot of progesterone, and the skin uh, really reflects the balance between these two hormones. Uh, so the skin is actually glowing during this period and but you have a little bit of an excess progesterone leading to more oil gland activity and clogging of pores. Make sure to cleanse your face well, use a salicylic based cleanser to remove the excess oil and to keep your pores unclogged. Use a lightweight moisturizer and sunscreen. The luteal phase or the active period time is the most difficult phase. There are a lot of flare ups, there's a lot of breakouts because of the androgen like uh, activity of the progesterone and post menstrual phase when there is a withdrawal of all these hormones the hormones which were gearing up towards this now will start tapering down the skin looks flat dull dehydrated please focus on the moisturizing so use hyaluronic acid use your moisturizer and use your sunscreen we have made a video on the perimenopausal skincare. So women in their late 40s to 50s who have either stopped menstruating or their periods have started to get irregular. So do watch that video and let us know if you want us to do a video on any other medical condition and skincare. Drop a comment in our comment box below and don't forget to like and share our video and subscribe to our channel.